excited. I had a package come in the mail today and it included some pellets. It included another product that I'm just going to go over really quick. Um, number one, I got these Gamo PBA Raptor pellets in 22 caliber. They're 9.8 grain. Um, I just thought it would be cool. Just, I, this isn't something I would use for any type of serious target shooting or hunting. Um, I just want to see what something this light will give me uh, as far as a chronograph reading out of the KTHPA. When I saw the pellets and saw how light they were, I figured I would get a kick out of seeing something lighter than the RWS wide cutter pellets that back in the day sent me that at 11.9 grain. These are 9.8. So uh, just, just interested in seeing the velocity that could uh, be spit out with using these. They're not very cheap pellets. Uh, that was one of the things. Now, they, it was relatively cheap uh, as far as where I got them from because when I looked on eBay, uh, that was actually the cheapest up until the point that I found these somewhere else online. eBay, it was selling for 17 just under $18 for this same package. So uh, I got it. I, I can't remember exactly. I think it was under $10, $9.99, something like that. So relatively inexpensive, but you only get, uh, what is it? I believe it's two packages of 25, so you get a total of 50 pellets. So, but we have those. Other thing I ordered were these Gamo rocket pellets in 22 caliber. They're 14.5 grain. If you're familiar with these, they're basically a hollow point pellet with a BB uh, embedded into the hollow point head of the pellet. Now, Again, relatively inexpensive. And the thing is up until now, I've never shot any gamma pellet of any kind. I've always just put faith in all the things that I've read online and on forums which for the vast majority seem to be that gamo pellets really aren't that good. Uh, they're inaccurate. Uh, they're not of very good quality. Well, I figured, how am I supposed to know how, how they're going to shoot out of my gun? Uh, I might as well give them a shot. Uh, the price was right, so I picked up a package of those. That's uh, in a quantity of 100. I picked up the H&N Excite pellets. These are the Excite Hammer pellets. 250 count per tin. I've already done a video on these. I really do like them and they were again at the price that I got them at $5.99 a tin. I picked up two tins uh, I, I kind of, uh, two different types of pellets that I had in a decent quantity I've been shooting a lot lately and ran out of. And those particular pellets, uh, I can't find anywhere in stock. And if you're familiar with the situation, uh, as far as pellets go, uh, there's, they're few and far between. So these seem to be very decent pellets and in stock and at a very good price but the other type i also picked up along with those 
or the Excite spike pellets. These are a 15.74 grain pellet. They're, they're basically they're the pointed version of the Excite hammer. They are a little bit heavier, obviously, 15.74 versus 14.66 grain. Um, but they picked up two tins of those. These are 200 per tin, not 250. But also in stock and at a good price. So, I'm planning on doing videos, putting each of these pellets, not the Excite hammers, I've already done that, uh, but as far as the Excite spike pellets, the Gamo rocket pellets, and the Gamo PBA Raptor, those are the 9.8 grain lightweight pellets. I am going to put those through their paces, uh, do a review on each one. I will be looking for velocity, I will be looking for accuracy, and I will also look at penetration. I'll probably do all of them together as a penetration test, so there's something to go by as far as comparing one to the other. You know, simply to shoot it into a, a book, which is what I've been using for a penetration test, a textbook, and counting the pages that it penetrates. Uh, that particular number really doesn't mean anything unless you look at it alongside uh, the penetration of another pellet. So I'll probably save that for last and do all the pellets at one time as far as penetration, but I will designate a, a specific video to each pellet for velocity and accuracy. Uh, the other product I picked up, not a big deal, but again, uh, it's a, a diffuser set. It was this was under ten bucks. You get the two diffusers and the rods. It's actually for a competition electronics Pro Chrono chronograph, which I don't have, but at the price they were, the diffusers I'm using. Once again, are for the Caldwell unit, which I am most likely going to sell and, of course, would want to include diffusers. So, as a replacement for the ones I'm currently using, which are the Caldwell diffusers, I picked these up. They were so inexpensive that I will replace the Caldwells with these. Just your basic white plastic flexible and some metal rods so that is everything that I got in the package today so I'm pretty excited uh, I'm really curious as to seeing what uh, that KTHBA with a full fill will shoot those uh, Raptor pellets at 9.8 grain uh, just to see a hopefully high velocity. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, look forward to doing the ones on the pellets and getting those out as soon as possible. So remember, stay safe and shoot safe.